Okay, uh, I'm not going to edit this video. This is just for the people in my Civil War. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install the Belkin's Weapon Mod with uh, the, the specs that we really need for to get onto my server. So, let's go to Belkin's Weapon Mod and load, load, load. Okay. Here's Balkan's weapon mod. To, to when you get the download in the download uh, client, which go to AdFly, wait your five seconds. Two, three, four, what? Okay. Get bad. Downloaded weapon mod. Zip. Uh, we also want. You need to get this. The presets property pack. This is what will allow you to use this on my server. So just download this one real quick. I don't think there's AdFly. There we go, got another one. Okay. Uh we also you're gonna also need mod loader and Minecraft Forge. Mod loader is pretty easy, just click the link, but Minecraft Forge is a little bit harder to find the download. Uh new forms, go to the new forms, releases, go to the releases main forge download and I've already got these so we'll just open wait no we don't want that okay edit that out it opens the weapon mod open that browse for mods folder and it should also have the weapon mod property files here drag that out there and I actually have the where is it? Uh, Minecraft Forge and Mod Loader right here. And we'll just replace that since I've downloaded many mod loaders. So then this is how you on a Mac, but I'll show you it'll be relatively similar to uh, Windows just because of the program I'm gonna use. You for Mac you go to your home place. Uh, that's my brother's phone. Go to the home place, and for PC, you go uh, start, uh, percent, app, data, percent, go in your roaming folder, and it'll pop up, dot Minecraft, go into that. But for Jack Carson, uh, that's just my, my brother, go into the library, application support, and your Minecraft should be up around here but I've already modded that with a preset thing I've got many so I'm just gonna use this as an example I've already installed it but what you're gonna do is open up your bin in here and if you're on a Mac you can use archive utility which is just opens it as a as a let's see this archive utility on archiving you have to rename this Minecraft with two T's or something like that and that will equal it and you'd have to rename this uh, Minecraft dot jar it'll say are you sure really sure and it'll say yep rename it you'd open it here's all your dot class files but we are not using that today because I'm using a more Windows friendly one so with Windows you're gonna need uh, 7-zip or WinRAR or one of the so but I have one that's really really close called Springy here When you open it with Springy it comes up just like uh, to uh, 7-zip or anything but the folders are all in different spots so for me you need to delete the meta amp which I already have so that's what you're gonna do and there's a trick to installing this uh, the way yeah you're supposed to install it First of all, install your Minecraft or your mod loader first. So then that gives you all these. But Minecraft Forge is more important to this mod. So install that second. So that all these files can override mod loader files here. Because it's way more important to the mod than mod loader. So what you're going to do then is. After you've installed that, you can exit out of that, get back to your bin, 
run Minecraft, see if it works, and it should come up with uh, a mods and a config and stuff like that in your mods folder, or you can just create a new folder mods, but uh, in your mods folder, in your weapon mod, uh, you have to copy and paste these two here into your here. But in order to get on my server, the thing why I made you download the weapon mod properties file is uh, go to all weapons. Here's the tough part: all weapons, and then weapon mod properties in this in here. Weapon mod will be one called weapon mod properties. And what you do is you just copy and paste this into here, and that uh, what's it called? Um, over replaces this file with this which comes with extra different properties which is the same properties I run on my server here uh, right there so uh, if you do this test it out it should work all just fine my IP address would be 75.73.184.208 colon Two five five six eight, and uh, type that in. My server's up. You should be able to hop right in and get prepared for the civil war. And you'll be expected to create a skin for your character. Mine is I'm a Confederate, so my skin not my favorite, but deal with it. Uh. Thanks for watching. Uh, install this mod. Get on my server. It'll be a lot of fun. Alright. Thanks for watching.